Hey, friends! Ah, uh, when you're a kid, slogging through the day-to-day -day hellscape of school, is there nothing better than a snow day? A big old blizzard comes along, and school is cancelled for the day, giving you a slight reprieve from all that drudgery. Even better when it happens on a Friday or a Monday. Well, this time, I have a movie for you that centers around such a reprieve day as kids are let out of school and get up to various hijinks. That's right. This time, we're taking a look at Snow Day, a comedy from the year 2000. Our story goes like this. Our hero, Hal, has a crush on Claire, the hottest chick in school, and <laughs> who can blame him? <laughs> but she never notices the poor guy. Uh, we've all been there, Hal. Meanwhile, Hal's dad is a TV weatherman, but he's last in the ratings in a three-station market, which means dressing up in dopey costumes and stuff which he finds embarrassing. His arch rival is a guy who acts like a cross between a carnival barker and an infomercial salesman. There's this big heat wave going on, and the kids are sad. The school principal is laughing at them since they have to go to school the next day, but as luck would have it, a surprise blizzard hits overnight, closing roads and schools with it. And that means... A snow day! Over the course of the movie, Natalie, Hal's little sister, and her friends try to put the kibosh on the local snowplow driver so they can keep snow on the roads and get another snow day. Yeah, I'd like to do that to a gay car too. I had one. Those things were lousy. In the meantime, Hal tries to work up the courage to tell the hot sexy chick how he feels running afoul of her on-again, off-again jock boyfriend who doesn't really appreciate her. The principal keeps getting pelted with snowballs, and Hal's father vies for ratings against his rival. Will the kids nobble the snowplow so they can enjoy an extended snow day? Will the principal force them back to school? And can our hero win the Check of his dreams. Snow Day was made by Nickelodeon, the kids' cable channel, and released through Paramount Pictures. It made 60 million smackers at the box office and has gone on to become a surprise cult favorite. Although, I gotta say, the snow here is fake as hell. I've lived in places that get heavy snow, and this ain't it, brother. In the first place, they had to use a snow machine to make artificial snow for some of the scenes. Okay, at least they didn't use foam. That always looks fake, seeing actors tromping through shaven cream. But most of this was shot in Edmonton, Alberta, so there is real snow around. But it's certainly not new fallen snow. This snow has been on the ground for a while. Here, roads are mostly clear or passable. People seem to be able to get around just fine, and the trees in several shots don't even have any snow on them at all. A lot of the time, it looks like there's maybe four to six inches of snow on the ground, and old snow at that. Hard to believe this snow fell just the night before, as we're led to believe, let alone that the ice skating rink would be cleared doesn't seem to be worth calling a snow day, really. I could see if this were set in Atlanta or somewhere like that, but the movie is set in New York State, where people know how to drive in the snow. But hey, it's a movie, and we gotta accept it. I guess. In our cast, we have some notable names, such as Chevy Chase as the kid's dad and local weatherman. Pam Greer, of all people, is his boss at the television station. John Schneider, Bo Duke from the Dukes of Hazard, he plays the rival weatherman. 
Iggy Pop appears as a DJ for the local skating rink, playing mellow oldies music. Definitely playing against type there, and fans of the rocker will no doubt get the joke. Jean Smart is the mom, and she's done a lot of work. She voiced several cartoon characters in The Pink Panther and Kim Possible. Probably her best-known role was as Charlene on Designing Women. And Chris Elliott plays the menacing snowplow driver. As for the kids, Schuler Fisk plays Lane, our hero's best friend. She's the daughter of actress Sissy Spacek. And she's quite good here, although she isn't given too much to do. She makes the most of it, though. Zena Gray is Natalie, the little girl. Snow Day was only her second film, and I liked her. She has a nice scene with Chevy Chase as she monitors her toy weather station. Emmanuel Creaky plays Claire, the hot sexy chick. <laughs> okay. I know she's supposed to be in high school here, but she was 25 when she appeared in this. So it's okay to go hubba hubba. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she doesn't really look like any high school age chick I remember. She's fully developed. <laughs> Maybe, maybe she was held back a few years, I don't know, but I'm not complaining, man. <laughs> so, aside from her, all of the kids appear to be the right age for the parts they play. It's really tricky to get kids in a picture able to avoid being annoying or spouting bad line delivery, and here I think they did a really good job. I really love the score here. The composer was none other than Steve Bartek, the lead guitarist from Oingo Boingo. Aside from the regular popular songs sprinkled into the soundtrack, the score has a real John Williams vibe to it. It's really nice. So this thing overall is a treat. I thought it'd be kind of dopey, but Gotta admit, I was a little surprised at just how much I enjoyed this one. Ah, uh, back when they knew how to make movies. Movies that entertained. Can you imagine how awful Snow Day would be if they made it today? It'd be all intersectional and feminist and alphabet soup and gender identity and messaging and all of that Crap. Well, guess what? You don't have to imagine it, because they did remake Snow Day just last year. As a musical. Ugh. Snow Day from 2022 is a picture I've not seen and have no plans to. So I can't say if it's woke or not, as I've not screened it, but I wouldn't put it past the checkbox brigade. Apparently, from what I understand, some of the characters are really annoying, the picture looks super cheap, and the music is lousy. I can't vouch for any of that, personally, but if you want to see it, you can find it on Amazon Prime. However, if you like the original picture, it might be best to simply avoid the new version. That's what I'm doing. Snow Day is kind of by the numbers, yes. There is nothing really new or earth-shattering in it, but the movie is a lot of fun, and it's well made. The kids are good and believable as kids, and the picture has some real heart. So I'm giving Snow Day two and three quarters paws. Well worth a watch. You take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one.